This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now at home, and behind me here we see Volkswagen ID bus. And today we're going to do Sunday driving. I was like, wait, I don't have to look at my videos and my spreadsheets. I, like, I never did Sunday driving with ID bus. Huh? But this one is for Marcus Beal. And then if you go to Marcus Beal, you can actually rent this bus or a bunch of other cars. I got an i3 and some Škoda Enya, or some ID4, GTX. So you can check it out. You can rent lots of non-Teslas if you're allergic to Tesla. Huh? Marcus has something for everyone. Also the Tesla haters. Yeah. Okay, but um, maybe it's a good idea to use this car from Marcus because you see... What is that? Chicken? The fuck, man? Okay, anyway, so with, with the other press cars I got from Mölle or directly from uh, uh, Volkswagen, they would tend to have 21 inch wheels. Here we have Continental Eco Contact 6Q, I'm not sure what the Q is, but 235-55-19 and also some aerodynamic grip. Wow, is this actually metal? Wow, no plastic, fantastic like Tesla here. But this should be quite efficient then, right? Huh? What do you guys think? They are probably the most efficient wheels we have, right? And then this car is also quite sparse. For example, here, look. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can open the door here because the charge port is in the back. They are okay, on that side, but we can actually open the door here, unlike in the Mifa. <laughs> but um, look here. We don't even have electric uh, door here. Um, the seats are not that nice looking. Uh, we are missing some, some good. We don't have travel assist. So it's like a stripped down, cheaper version of... Yeah, we don't have any... Uh, wait, wait, did they ever have electric seats? I don't remember. Uh, but okay, but that's fine. So we are now charging. We are at 100%. We're still taking... Wait, can you see that? Shit, sorry, sorry. Bit too bright. There. We're still taking 4 kilowatts. Um, and then the plan is that we will drive... Okay, what is Sunday driving? Well, it is actually Sunday today. It's like an eco run where we actually follow the speed limit for once, lol. And then I think the plan is to drive here and then further up Lillehammer and then maybe take uh, Venabygdsfjelle. No, no, it's not that, that here, roughly. And then we take Highway 4 on the way... Uh, highway 3, sorry. Highway 3 on the way back. No, 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 shit. On the way back and... I'm not sure how far we can drive. Uh, huh? Really? Oh, it's funny. Gom claims that we can drive 201 kilometer. <laughs> is it something kaput with the battery? No. You see, the battery actually has 71, 72 kilowatt hour battery, uh, capacity, but we have been driving with trailers, so the Gom has been adjusted for trailer. That's why. <laughs> but I'm guessing we might be able to drive around 450 kilometers. So we shall see. Let me see. If I go to the charging screen here. Yeah. We are now taking 4.5 kilowatt, so we'll just wait a little bit. And I'm also having the air conditioning here, the pre-conditioning on, because it is a bit cold. So this will be one of the last uh, high, uh, Sunday driving, actually of the summer Sunday driving. But eventually, I think we should also do winter Sunday driving to see how far can they go during winter. So let's wait a couple of minutes and then supposedly it's uh, going to finish soon. We have been driving for a while now, uh, actually over two hours, and we're getting close to uh, Lillehammer. So yeah, the consumption right now is 172 watt hour per kilometer. Um, well, that's uh, pretty good, but I haven't decided where to go. Is it, wow, look at the water level there. Whoa. And look at those beautiful colors. Yeah, it's actually, it's 1st October now. 
but despite being that late on the year, uh, it is 13.5 degrees outside, uh, simply because we have some wind from the south nowadays, some hot wind from the south. But yeah, I have to figure out where to go. I might go Vena Bigsfjella. It's a little bit longer route, but that means that we will run out of juice before we get back to Oslo. But yeah, uh, maybe that's it. Uh, or I could go some other route. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I feel like maybe, okay, I'll, I'll figure out something. But I think I need to take a little pee break and maybe grab some food before we uh, continue. Welcome to Venabygdsfjell. We are now quite high up in the skies here and Tynlufta. Uh, and today it's not windy, not too windy. So yeah, just shot the thumbnail like I do it always over here. Nice and open. And yeah, I feel like winter is coming. <clears throat> it's getting colder. So let's hop in and see that. Now we are 37.5, well, can you see it? 37.5% <coughs> only left, uh oh. So we will probably not be able to make it back to Oslo. Let me see. Wait for the lag. Oh, no, no, I can, I can do this one. Okay, there. Ah, let's go, let's go here. Um, every time I have to do this, okay. So, yeah, we have just have to follow the route. And then we'll probably end up, uh, maybe we end up around, not sure, Elverim or maybe Tongan before we have to juice up and then we go home. So, yeah, I had to fire up the heater now because it's a little bit cold. So it's not the most optimal day of doing... Uh, Sunday driving on, but okay, let's uh, keep driving. We just passed Elverum now, and uh, so far we have done 403 kilometers. Well, it's more like 407 kilometers if you count 1% uh, underreporting. But yeah, we're getting low now. 4% battery left. So I think I will bail out soon. There is a charge uh, chem power site uh, ahead here in 7 kilometers at Miklogai. So we'll stop there. The car estimates we will arrive with 2%. So yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's go over there. And then, uh, yeah, the next one past that one will be far, too far away. So, um, yeah, it's, um, it's 9 degrees outside. So that's probably why the consumption isn't super low. But 174 for now for um, a van, I think that's good. And because we've been slow poking, the, the battery is somewhat cold. You see here, 16 to 18 degrees Celsius. So it means that we should also cold get a little bit once we plug in. We are now at Miklavar. Uh, and a bunch of camp power over here and a, and a leaf with a with a furniture on the roof oh that that's oh i'm not sure if i would secure the, the furniture with those weak oh, maybe they're not that weak straps but i feel like i need more powerful straps than that okay anyway yeah so we managed to drive 410.4 kilometers this car under reports by one percent so we had to calculate for that one also and then here we see 174 watt hour per kilometer and uh interesting it claims two percent here but if we look here 
we have 1.1% uh, state of charge, and that the real state of charge with some buffer below zero is 6.8. But here, initially when I stopped, it was 1150 watt hour left. So it means that this car has only 72.5 kilowatt hour, which is a bit low. I measured in other cars with the same battery, 82 kilowatt hour battery, to have around um, 74.5 kilowatt hour. So, uh, but I can show you here that this car has done some distance. Is it not? Yeah, so it's not that new. So is this degradation? Because I did charge 100% on AC and it stopped charging. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but okay, let's plug in then. All right, we're charging now, getting, wow, 128 kilowatt. See, the battery is a bit cold here. 17, yeah, it's, okay. Battery, uh, I think the battery heater might be active now. I'm not sure what this means. But uh, yeah, this is not too bad for semi-cold battery. <laughs> so maximum speed will be 170, no, 185 kilowatt. So, yeah, good enough. Well, but if you look at the result now, um, 421 kilometer range is not that great. It's actually second worst, but it is what it is, a van. So this is the first van I actually do Sunday driving with. I didn't bother with a Mifa because it's a bit annoying to drive around with. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, the consumption wasn't that low, but uh, uh, what can you expect from a van, right? So. At least we try it now. The bus, okay, it can go pretty far, uh, but um, yeah, it's probably not the one you want to go really far if you need to. Uh, uh, or yeah, I'm not sure what I should conclude with this. But okay, what I, what I should say is that if we try this in summer when it was would be 20 or 25 degrees Celsius, we will probably get more. Maybe we can go 450 kilometers, but I don't think we can go 500. In order to go 500 kilometers, you have to average 150 watt hour per kilometer. I consider that uh, a little bit unrealistic. I think maybe in summer, proper summer, we might be able to go, I mean, we might be able to get around 160 to 165 watt hour per kilometer. That is based on my butt feeling. So I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later. Bonus material. This is the first time I show you guys the new house at night. It looks stunning. So this is like a hidden gem, uh, an Easter egg for the few guys who watched the video till the end. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, okay, okay. If you see this clip, just comment about it. <laughs> okay, but okay. Look at this. I chose, the, okay, it doesn't look that bad. This camera doesn't have HDR, but those dark spots, they're actually not that dark. It's just that the camera cannot uh, pick up the information or it, it shows it like this, but our brains in, in real life, it looks, it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, the brain can do some HDR processing. Uh, but yeah, so we have the external lights here. It's from um, Klaus Olsson, North Light. They're not that expensive, around 50 euros each. I'm gonna show you that if you go over here, uh, this is a, a road that will then eventually be a neighbor, but they haven't even gotten that far yet. But they have prepared something here. Also, Idehu is going to build here. But look here. Look, look, look. Oh, look on this side. Okay, I have to be careful. So they have put some soil here. And I also think they have put something, maybe some, I'm not sure if it's fertilizer or maybe seeds, maybe grass seeds. But look, look here. If you still, oh. Look at this one. If you look at the house from this angle, you will see the reflection in the pool. <laughs> that looks so awesome. I have waited for this house for two and a half years. And thank you so much for supporting me on the house. But the, the, the money you guys supported is roughly, I think 50,000 nook, which is still a lot, but this house costs way more than 50,000 nook. What you see here is, is 10 years of hard work with YouTubing and building up the channel and making money and making great content and this is my reward mine and wifey's reward is this holy macaroni yeah the pool oh okay but then okay you walk over here you here see the the lights uh, closer up so i chose this one i don't want any sharp edges so it doesn't look to be that sharp i've seen other other lights that have cast way sharper edge. This one, I tried to make it diffuse a little bit so it gets a more even light. And if you come over here, okay, you can see some stuff inside, but let's go over here. Let's get inside the house. So also, I should talk about something else. I have easy 
boxes here. I have one in here and have two more in the garage. They put on the white cover here. That's nice. So I can charge one car here, like a big car or some shit, like this ID bus, for example, or whatever, you know. Uh, I can charge one car here. I can maybe put my trailer there. Over there is going to be grass. But you see, I can probably put at least two cars here and then two more on that side. But not only that, if you look here, I could even s stow one car there and maybe two. Like, it seems like I can park four to six cars in front of the house, plus two more in the garage. It's freaking insane. I have so much space in front of the house here. <laughs> uh, okay, and then look here. So this was my idea to build two stories or I don't know what you call this, a f entrance, foyer or whatever, right? The reception, or the, but it just looks so stunning that you have two layer of glass and you have this open space. So when you enter the house, you're greeted by big 60 times 60 tiles. You have the bathroom there, and then you can just see right in here. You can see right up there. And you have a lot of spotlight. Wow, this looks so awesome. And then we have this 90 degree stair here. So yeah, I can show you quickly. Here we have one bathroom. I might use this one for uh, when I come home at night and something. But you see, we, we couldn't afford a proper shower corner. That would cost 20,000 nook extra. And also we just had to go for the basic shower with this one, which cost only 1,000 nook. This, this isn't concluded. We wanted something better, but we ran out of the money. Um, okay. And then here we have a washing room, washing machine and stuff will be over here. We have uh, part of the ventilation system. That's the water reservoir. Um, and then here will be a bedroom. I might use this one if I work at night and I come home and I don't want to disturb the family. I can sleep over in here. And then here we have the living room. There will be a, a dining table here eventually with some lights. And then here we have the yeah, rest of the living room. Plenty of space for the children to play around, for me to work here. So this living room here is as large as uh, my, my first uh, yeah, apartment a long time ago. And then over here we have kitchen getting installed now from um, Sigdal, and we also use Electrolux stuff. So Electrolux over there, nice kitchen. We couldn't afford granite. Granite looked and feels so awesome. We just had to go for something a little bit cheaper, but it still looks okay. So there's like a center aisle there, plenty of space. We will have the sink. Oh yeah, I don't remember if it's a sink or and the, the induction top over there. So it's getting done soon. Okay, moving over here. And then, yeah, I just love this. You enter this area, you will be, will be passing by this room a lot for going, going to the toilet very often or going out or going upstairs. So yeah, nice stairs. And you see some, some houses, they have 180 degree stairs, but we managed to get a 90 degree stair because you had this openness. So we get inside here, go upstairs. And you can see from upstairs, it looks like this. It looks so nice, man, to have this room. Like, it's pointless, it's a waste of space, but do I care? No. <laughs> and then here we have another living room upstairs. And then we have the balcony over there. Um, and here will be, this is, this is gonna be uh, Isabel's bedroom, fairly large. And then here we have also Isabel's um, uh, bathroom, which will be shared with that one, which is the second baby. And here you see, also here, we could not afford the, the shower wall. <laughs> Too much money. We also get this basic cheap shit from whatever, uh, just like you have on some hotels. But we went for this one. <laughs> Over 2000 nook, but we wanted some nice finish on it. And we also went for a very expensive, uh, somewhat expensive toilet. Villeroy and Bok, Subway 3.0. It doesn't have an edge. It's like elder, yeah. So there will be more stuff coming. And I'll show you here. This is going to be wifey's wardrobe room thing with some lead strip on top. And so shit, man, to get some even diffused light. We can't afford anything here. We run out of the money. So it has to be like this when we move in more or less. Uh, maybe the lights will be installed. Yeah, that's pretty much it, but no, no furnitures here, unfortunately. And here, this is the main bedroom. It's facing west 
and south. And then over here is the main bathroom. We will have some equipment here eventually. Bathtub there, toilet here, shower. Yeah, this is a shower, the, the only shower we can afford. So we didn't go for the most expensive things in this house because uh, for example, the laminate was actually a downgrade in money, but we prefer laminate over uh, uh, parquet. So yeah, now as you guys seen it, the quite unique tour and the, the hidden gem. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm gonna go home. So I think that's gonna be it. Bye-bye. And then there will be an update coming later in a dedicated video.